Hi, I'm Marvelyn Brown and I'm a Total Life Changes distributor. Today we're going to talk about residual income. And the reason we're going to talk about it is because it's such a big component of the Total Life Changes compensation plan. Now when I'm explaining the compensation plan and I bring up the term residual income, a lot of people don't understand what that means. And so because it's such a big part of the, the total compensation that you're going to receive as a Total Life Changes representative, I want to make sure that everyone is clear. Because once you understand this term, you will totally understand why people are so excited about this opportunity. So I'm going to go through this fairly quickly. And the one thing that I want to point out is that when you're talking about changing your income, and you hear people talk about, you know, oh, I'm making all this money online, I'm making thousands of dollars a month, you know, and I'm doing all of these things. A lot of times people are making bogus claims. They're doing things to just try to, you know, suck you into an opportunity that might not be so good for you. On the other hand, there are definitely people out there that are making life-changing income, and they're doing it with um, companies like Total Life Changes. So you have to kind of change your mindset when you go into, especially if you want a successful home business, you have to change your mindset and start thinking about um, the different ways that people make money and the, the different things that people are utilizing, the different systems that they're utilizing. If someone says that they have some kind of push button, you know, just sit down, uh, implement this uh, program and push a button and you're going to make money, that's probably bogus. However, a lot of companies are, you know, giving you the tools that you need to really make life-changing income. Total Life Changes is one of those companies. We're not promising you, we're not promising you wealth. We're not promising you riches. We're telling you that it's possible with your effort. You know, you can't just sit back and do nothing and expect for the money to come in. You have to invest in yourself. You have to invest in your business. And you have to have a mindset that's open to the possibilities. So now, um, I'm going to go ahead and go forward with this. But I wanted to just share this quote from Robert Kiyosaki. And he says, the richest people in the world look for and build networks. Everyone else looks for work. Now, this kind of sums up what I'm going to talk about today with residual income. There are two different ways that people have been making money over the years. Um, and some of us have been exposed to maybe one of those areas, but not really fully exposed to the other areas. And so this is what we're going to talk about. I'm going to start with active income. Active income happens as a direct result of our efforts. So that means when you go to work for an hour and you get paid a certain amount of money for that hour's work, that's considered active income. This is the model that a lot of us uh, were brought up on. This is the model that our parents used and maybe our grandparents as well. And so they were able to go to work, make a great living with a company work for that company for 30 years or, you know, however many years, and then retire and have a pension and, you know, their other income savings and things like that, they could live on that for the rest of their lives and live a really great life. They could meet their financial obligations. They could take vacations. They could do a lot of things with the money that they made from active income. However, in recent years, that model has kind of changed. Uh, people aren't necessarily making the same amount of money for the same jobs that they did years ago. A lot of jobs, because of technology and because of the Internet and because of the way that companies are restructuring their companies, a lot of CEOs have restructured. They sent jobs away. They've, you know, kind of restructured and rethought the way that they were doing business. And so because of that, Active income is not necessarily the most attractive model anymore. Now, for some people, it may still be an attractive model. Um, but for a lot of people, it's not so attractive. People can't make ends meet from using this model. So when you go to work for an hour and you make a lower wage, for example, um, so you can spend a whole 40 hours a week in a job and when you get your check you don't have enough money to make ends meet and so this is the situation that a lot of people 
are finding themselves in. And so this is basically what we would consider a, um, I'm going to call this just the classic model. The active income model is kind of a classic model. You go to work, you get paid, you get a check, and sometimes that check allows you to, you know, meet your financial obligations, and sometimes it doesn't. Now, this can be seen in wages, salaries, and even self-employed self -employed service providers like doctors and lawyers. Of course, doctors and lawyers make a lot more um, on the hour or by, you know, if they're salaried or however their pay uh, structure is, they make a lot more money. They have a lot more disposable income. And so it's not the same as someone who might be working in, for example, a fast food restaurant or somewhere where the wages are a lot lower. But either way it goes, whether you're a doctor or a lawyer or whether you're working in a fast food restaurant, this model is limited because no matter how much money you get paid, you still need to show up in order to earn. Now, the next thing that I'm going to talk about is residual income. And this is what we talk about when we're going through the total life changes compensation plan. Residual income happens when you do the work once and you continue to get paid after the work is done. So this includes things like royalties from books, movies, or songs. Um, so you see people who are authors, movie stars, musicians, people like that get royalties. They create the music once and then it's recorded on some medium, whether it's a book or a CD or a video. And then when people play it over and over and over again, they get paid every time that music or that book or that song is, um, is played or publicized. You can also get residual income from real estate. So say for instance you buy a house and that house um, you go you fix it up and uh, you see a lot of people doing this now they're going out buying foreclosure properties they're fixing them up and renting them out and they're getting rent payments from those homes. Well, that's also considered residual income. You don't have to be present. You do the work once. You buy the house. You fix it up once. And then people come in. You have people that rent. And they pay you rent over and over and over again. People also make residual income from business investments. So they make an initial investment of you know a certain dollar amount. And then they earn interest and dividends from that investment. So that's considered residual income as well. So what residual income means in a nutshell is that you don't have to be present in order to earn it. Bill Gates is still making residual income from Microsoft, even though he's no longer working with the company. Um, the estate of Michael Jackson is still making residual income from his music, even though he's passed on. So this is the way that a lot of people have built wealth. And they built wealth because they did something once, people loved it, it caught on, and you know, people are you know making money from each time that that action occurs. So we're still using Microsoft operating system on computers. You know, millions and millions and millions of computers were sold with that operating system, and they continue to be sold with that operating system. And Bill Gates is making money off of that every single day. He makes money whether he's asleep, whether he's awake. It also frees, when you have residual income, it frees you up to do other things, things that maybe you're interested in. You can pursue your passions. And so that's where um, residual income is becoming more popular for the average person. They want to be able to spend more time doing the things that matter most. And so this is a great model that people are starting to, um, to really look at. And this is how people are making um, life-changing income with total life changes. Now, you're probably asking, how do you build residual or passive income? And the key is leverage. So leverage means that you're using something to its maximum advantage. You're creating revenue-generating systems. And really, you know, in this example, total life changes has created a revenue-generating system that enables you to have residual income. When you learn to use other people's time and efforts to the maximum advantage, you're able to work less and earn more money. So you see people that they're, you know, they start out in business, they have this um, dream of having their own business. So they start out 
they work it, you know, they do some of the things that they're um, taught in their upline to do. And when it doesn't work, they just say, you know what, this isn't for me. This, this business is not good. I don't like it. And what they don't realize is that it takes time to build the leverage. And so I put this little example, if I can get my cursor in here, I put this little example in because I thought it was really a great way to, um, to show you how leverage works. So as you can see right here, the person is putting forth effort. So, and then on this side, we have a load. We have a one ton load. In the middle, we have what is called a lever. And then this is the fulcrum that the lever sits on. So now without this lever, without this lever, this person would have to exert a lot more energy and a lot more strength to move this one ton load. As a matter of fact, the average person can't lift a one ton load um, on his own, on his or her own. And so because they have this lever, which is the the system that enables them to move this load, he has to put forth less effort. Now, in the beginning, when you start your business, you're, you know, you're putting all this information out, you're being consistent, you're doing, you have a daily mode of operation, you're, you're working that daily mode of operation, and um, you're putting forth all of this effort. It may seem like you're not making any headway, but at some point, you know, you just continue to be persistent and consistent and work your system. Eventually, you're going to get to the point where because of the way the Total Life Changes revenue generating system is set up, you're going to start seeing your income soar. So what I would invite you to do is go back and look at that Total Life Changes video and just look at how, you know, when you utilize the power of residual income, with the, um, and I believe it, it's under the 50% um, check match um, section. When you start utilizing some of those techniques and some of those um, processes, and you have more people, you start adding people to your network. You know, the network that we talked about in the beginning of this video, um, where people are looking for and building networks. Total Life Changes utilizes the network. It utilizes leverage. It utilizes residual income to help you explode your income without utilizing as much effort. So as you can see, and, and the other part of it is you see people who want to have a home business. They dream of having a home business, but they're not willing to put in the effort. And so what I would also... Um, encourage you to do is to look at, you know, what effort are you putting into your business? Are you utilizing proven methods and proven techniques or are you just all over the place? You know, are you just trying a little bit of everything once and throwing it out there and then when it doesn't work you're just quitting and moving on to something else? Because there's also the other thing that um, that comes up when you have a home business is there are zillions of shiny objects out there. And so if you try all the shiny objects and you don't give them time to work, then you're just throwing away your time and you're throwing away your money. The other thing that I would also um, encourage you to do is not think so much about active income. Start shifting your focus to residual income. When you're using the active income model, you're going to be working harder. Active income enables you to work hard but it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to have what you need to meet your financial obligations. So you see people who they've worked hard their whole life, but they really still don't have what they need. When you start shifting your focus to residual income and how you can make money in, in the ways that I talked about, you're going to see your income situation change. And so I would also, again, invite you to look at what Total Life Changes has to offer and, um, and consider joining. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off right now, but I want you to think about, you know, do you have the right revenue generating systems in place? And if not, sign up for Total Life Changes so that you can be a part of the revenue um, generating system that they've put into place that utilizes residual income. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.